Here are 10 warning signs from the universe telling you what you think you desire and what you think is for you isn't really for you. Hello my powerful creators, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Candace. if you're new here. On this channel we talk about manifestation, law of assumption, and personal development. And if you would like to become a powerful creator, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button. In today's video, I'm going to give you 10 signs, warning signs from the universe telling you that you are on the wrong path, that what you think you need in your life and what you desire, what you're trying to manifest isn't really for you and these signs aren't scary at all. They're just signs to let you know that you're on the wrong path and that the universe has something better, greater for you. And it's really exciting once you get these signs because it's like, Oh, wait, I thought this was for me. Now I know it's not. Now I can get what I really need in my life quicker. So powerful creators, I want you to stick till the end of this video so that you know every single sign. Be aware that you don't need all 10 signs for it to be the real warning. You can have just one of these signs and it be the sign that you need to get back on the right track. You just need one of these to really let you know that you're on the wrong track that there's something better out there for you. So I want you to stick around till the end, powerful creators, so that you know what signs are in your wavelength. What have you been seeing when it comes to your manifestation? Have you been seeing this sign? You're like, that's why it's not working. I'm desiring something that's really not for me, and that's okay. So let's get started. The first sign is whenever you think of your desire, you have this uneasy feeling in your stomach, you have an ache. You have like this nervous anxiety feeling when you think about your desire. Maybe it's your SP, maybe it's a career path, maybe it's something you thought you really needed or you wanted, but it's really not for you because every time you think of it, you get this uneasy feeling in your gut. That's a sign that you're not on the right path. The second one is you can't sleep well and you're waking up feeling uneasy. You're having these feelings like you can't sleep at night. You can't go to sleep very well. You're waking up in the middle of the night. You're feeling uneasy. That's the universe speaking to you that whatever you're desiring at that time, it's not for you. That goes into our third one. You're having these dreams about your desire and it's not working out. You know, you're having dreams about your SP and they're being mean to you in your dreams or you're just having these really bad scenarios happen in your dreams. And those are signs from the universe telling you that whatever you desire isn't really for you. And those are the reasons you're waking up feeling uneasy. You're waking up feeling like, oh, what happened? It's because the universe is sending you signs in your dreams. Be aware of those signs. The fourth one is unexpected delays keep happening in your situation. You may have this deadline to get this application done at a certain period of time and you're like, they said they need the application for me to apply for this job. They need it on Thursday and it's already Friday. I missed the deadline because something came up. That's the universe saying that job wasn't for you. I got something better for you. The fifth sign that you are on the wrong path is that you're getting into these fights with people. Maybe it's with your mom, your dad, your sibling, your best friend, people you usually don't fight with. Maybe it's even your SP, your specific person. You're fighting, you're getting into arguments easily. And that's not like you because as powerful creators, we don't fight, we show love to others. But you're getting into fights with people, you're having arguments. That is a sign that your desire is not for you. The sixth sign is that you are so tired and you're getting sick often. Because as powerful creators, we are so strong, we're so intelligent, we are so in tune with our feelings, we manifest so fast and frequently, we live amazing lives. And I'm not saying that you can't get sick. I got sick last week. It happens. But when you're frequently getting sick, so maybe you got sick and you were healthy for one day, you get sick again. Or you feel tired all the time. You're just like, 
Oh, another day. You're just feeling low. You're feeling tired. There's something that you desire on your list, your manifestation list that really isn't for you? Are there something you're doing in your path to your greatness that isn't for you? Now, I can make up so many scenarios with this, but make sure you comment below so that I can help you with your situation because we're all different here. But for now, I'm gonna give an example. So maybe you desire this home that you have seen online. This is the home you want and it's the right price, it's in the right location, but there's something that keeps popping up in your health whenever you want to go visit that home, to go tour it, there's delays, they're saying, oh, we can't really show you the home today, but maybe tomorrow, but you have work. All these delays are happening. That home is not for you, and that's okay, because the universe has a better home for you. Now that's just one example. Again, make sure you comment below so I can help you with your scenario so that you know which sign has been happening to you and what it means and does it mean for you that you were on the wrong path. The seventh sign is that everything feels forced and uninspired. So maybe you are manifesting, you're doing some technique and you're talking, thinking about your SP, you're talking about it out loud and everything, and it just doesn't feel right. You feel like, oh, this feels like work. This feels like work, or you just feel uninspired. You don't even wanna manifest. You don't even wanna manifest them, that's SP. You don't even wanna manifest that job you think is for you. You don't even wanna manifest that home because it's been so difficult. You don't even want to manifest anything, you, that desire you have. You don't have any, any strength to do it. You don't feel any inspiration. That is a big sign that it's not for you. It's not for you, powerful creator. The eighth sign is that things are getting worse or harder. Whatever your situation is that you trying to, you're forcing things to happen. You're like, I need my SP. I need my SP. I need this money. And it's just, you're forcing it to happen. Things start getting worse. Your SP drops you, blocks you. The job you thought you were going to get says, you know, they found somebody else. And you apply to another job. And that job just wasn't for you. Because this is what happened to me. I was applying to so many jobs when I moved out to LA. I was like, I need this job. I need that job. But I just kept getting rejected. Every 9 to 5 job was like, sorry, we regret to inform you. Those evil words. We regret to inform you that the job isn't for you. But we wish you the best. Good luck. And I was crying every single day. I was like, God, why aren't you giving me a job? But that wasn't my path. That wasn't for me. What was for me is my own job, my own experience, what I do now. My own business of being on social media, having my own times of work, having my own schedule. That was my path. I didn't know it at the time. I thought, you know, I need a nine to five. That wasn't my path. Things got worse because I was trying to pursue something and trying to manifest something that wasn't for me. And now I know that. But once in those moments, I was like really frustrated. But once I let go and I just started allowing things to work out in my favor, that's when opportunities came. That's when all the love, the abundance, and everything I ever desired started coming in my life because I stopped forcing what I thought was for me. Because whatever's meant for you will not miss you. So never forget that, powerful creators. Okay, so the ninth one is that you feel irritated easily. The smallest things just tick you off. They're just like, ugh. I stubbed my toe. I didn't go through that green light. I have another red light. Oh, why did I make my coffee wrong at Starbucks? Oh, why did I get a parking ticket? 
why isn't anything working out for me? You're just feeling irritated. You're on the wrong path, honey. Powerful creator, you're on the wrong path. If you're feeling irritated about the smallest things, about a lot of things, you're feeling, you're allowing your whole day to be irritated. That's a sign you're on the wrong path. And powerful creator is the last sign that you are on the wrong path. Whenever you think of your desire, it feels like a lot of work and you don't feel at peace. Peace is such a sign that you are on the right path. When you have peace about your situation, whether it be your finances, your health, your family, your SP, your specific person, whatever you desire in this life, if ever you have peace about it, that is a good sign. But if you have zero peace, you have no peace about it, you're feeling uneasy, you don't feel like you should be manifesting, you feel like it's work to manifest, you're just feeling like a weight on your shoulders. When you think or start trying to write down your, your desire because it's not for you. It's not for you. I remember writing down in my journal and being like, I desire a nine to five job. And I remember feeling like, ooh, mm -mm, that's not for me. But I kept ignoring it till the signs got worse for me. Listen to your intuition. Listen to the voices inside of you because they are guiding you and speaking to you powerful creators all the time. Remember, when you have peace about your situation, that's when you know that you know that you know you're on the right track. Because somebody can ask you any question. They're like, so how's your SP? How's your specific person? You don't have any uneasy feelings because you are at peace with what you desire. Or you are asked like, hey, how's the job search going? I was asked that many times. How's it, and I felt so frustrated when I was asked that because the job search wasn't for me. But maybe the job search is for you. Someone's like, how's the job search? Do you have a job yet? But you're at peace, you're like, it's coming, it's coming. The perfect job with the perfect salary, it's coming. Just have peace. If you have had any of these 10 signs and maybe more, comment them below. I would love to help you with that. Let me know what you're dealing with so we can get you back on the right path. Thank you, powerful creators, for watching. Thank you so much for being a part of this channel. It truly means a lot to me. I love you guys so much. You are so amazing, and I'm so thankful for each and every one of you. And today's powerful creator is Mariah Moore. Mariah Moore, thank you so, so much, sweetheart, for being a part of the powerful creators community. I truly, truly appreciate your love and support. It means a lot. If you would like a shout out in my next video, make sure you watch the other videos because I'm sure I shouted you out before. But if you're certain I haven't, make sure you do this. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button and hit that like button and hit that bell notification button and comment this secret word below. If you like this video, you like my next video on the 10 signs your manifestation is on its way to you. Go watch that video next, you'll love it. Thank you again, powerful creators, for watching, and I hope you have the most beautiful day. I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!